that's the that's the end of the year podcast too, the final podcast of 2020. This is uh, 203 episodes so far, plus some bonus stuff here and there. Um, and I've been doing this podcast for I don't know over four years now. Uh, this June was was four years. Next year will be five. Um, and uh, it's it's growing. It's grown. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, more people have been listening to this podcast this year, which is great. Um, I hope I hope that you guys are are subscribed and will continue to tune in next year. And uh, um, I, I appreciate all the people that have stuck with this podcast through the the many various different changes that it has gone through <laughs> um, over the course of the last four four and a half years or so. Um, I'm going to keep doing these, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm going through a, a, a bunch of changes in my life, uh, over the course of the next couple months. I know the last few months have kind of been, uh, a round of chaos, um, you know, not by anybody's doing just in general, I, I think it just got a little bit extra chaotic, uh, and, and we're looking at. It, what happened this year, you know, um, I mentioned this, uh, on, on yesterday's podcast, I'm going to have to decrease the amount of content that I put out there, um, and, and start prioritizing certain things. Um, this podcast is one of them that I'm going to prioritize the dispatches, uh, and then the virtual shows. I want to bring the virtual shows back. I want to do them once a month. That's probably what I can handle at the moment. Um, and I'll get into the reasons behind that in just a second here. But, um, you know, once a month I'm going to be putting effort into talking about a subject matter that not a lot of people are, are, are talking about. Or, or or if there are people talking about it, you know, it's, it's not hitting the mainstream. Um, and there's a lot of misinformation about it from corporate media. So, uh, yeah, come January, uh, I'm going to be doing them once a month. I'll probably announce the dates of those things uh, in the next week or so. I have an idea of when the first show is going to be, and I'll I'll have tickets and all that stuff ready to go, but that's something that I'm going to prioritize. I want to prioritize the live streams as well that I do every Friday. Um, they might ha they might get jumbled around a little bit uh, I, b based on some of the changes that are coming. Uh, some of some of these changes are positive changes and others are uh, others are are kind of neutral changes. There, there's no major negative change. The 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 fact of the matter is, um, you know, in the beginning of this pandemic, I put out a call and to say that, you know, my livelihood has basically been uh, come to a halt. And a lot of people, like an overwhelming amount of people really came out in support of what I was doing by becoming sustaining members and, uh, making one-time donations, purchasing my album, looking for, for t-shirts to get and, uh, you know, updating the merch store and all that. Um, and I'm beyond incredibly appreciative of, of all the people that have decided to, uh, to, to support my work. Uh, a lot more people started subscribing to my channels. A lot more people, um, you know, had me on to be guests on their shows from Hardlands Media Action for Assange, Get Your News On with Ron, um, I, I'm, was honored to be a part of those, those programs and, and, and just, you know, continue talking about these important issues and amplifying them so more people can, um, can really find them. And, you know, I, I started doing the virtual shows as a way to supplement income. I gave half of what I was making to grassroots organizations and mutual aids because I was in a, in a bit of a position where, uh, I could do that. Um, and things are shifting a little bit. Uh, I have more financial responsibilities. Uh, you know, I've got, uh, some of those bills are back and, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to go away. Uh, and I need to, unfortunately, 
start worrying about my finances. And that sucks and I don't I don't I don't like it because I've been in that position before. What I really wanted to do was make a living with my art and I finally got to a spot where I was and everything kind of came to a crashing halt. And and a lot of people came out to support, but th the unfortunate incident was a lot of people that wanted to support couldn't because they were locked in the same position that I was, and I, and I do I do not fault those people at all. Uh, that is out of their circumstances, just like me um, losing months worth of uh, worth of touring um, and income, and uh, you know working on material and all that, so on and so forth was. Uh, was not part of the plan. And because of that, I'm, you know, I'm going to get, be getting a, a second part-time job. Some of you know I, 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 I got a part-time job uh, watching and taking care of this elderly lady. And it's been great. It's been fun. I, I, I like doing that. It's, it's, it's pretty chill, and, and she's... Uh, She's a sassy lady. She's actually fun to hang out with. Um, but, you know, I got to I gotta make more in order to survive. That's what it boils down to. Um, and it feels like taking a couple steps backward. It really does. But I, and, I, and I know it's not exactly taking steps backward because I still have all the people that support me and all the people that that are donating to uh, you know big my sustaining memberships and, and and all that kind of stuff right uh, taking a step backward it feels like I'm going back to 2013 when I needed to have um, a side gig in order to supplement income because my the way I was touring it wasn't like I still hadn't figured it out about how to make it financially sustainable yet. Um, so it feels like I've taken a seven year jump backwards by, by making this decision to look for a second job, to look for a part-time gig to supplement income. And I know it's not exactly the same because I do have people, uh, that want to make con financial contributions to what I'm, what I'm doing, but it feels like I'm taking that step backward. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think it was inevitable and I pretty much tried to do anything and everything that I could to to not take that step to to make uh, my art my source of income. But I wasn't able to make that work and and it's and it's and it's unfortunate. Uh, so because of that, you know and and there's some other changes coming as well. Uh, we're 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 shifting one of our rooms into becoming a studio space. So there will be a dedicated studio space, uh, you know, from where I'll be doing these live streams and podcasts and virtual shows and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, it's, it's looking back on this year. Like I'm, re I'm really, you know, I I've mentioned this a few times before that I'm really struggling with anxiety and depression. Uh, and, and, and I, and it, reached this kind of tinderbox moment this this spike um a few months ago probably around uh octoberish when i was realizing that i was burnt out from the amount of stuff that i was doing to continue making um continue making my art my vital source of income and you know the struggles that I was going through, and and again, it kind of felt like going back to 2013, where I was really trying to hustle and trying to figure out how to make this stuff work. And I think that put me into a state of anxiety and depression. And I'm trying to I'm trying to not focus on you know oh man I gotta think of, you know X Y Z, but I'm trying to think about the positives of 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 this year, the 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 solidarity that I've seen, the people that have come out of the woodwork. To, to not just support me, but support all of the content creators out there that lost their work, you know? 
the importance of 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 coming together is is what I'm trying to focus on. And even though I do, I am still struggling with depression and anxiety and doing what I can to get that motivation back for the for the upcoming year. Uh, you know, I'm I I don't want to forget about the good things that have happened. Um, my my relationships, my friendships, and and connecting with people, and trying to stay on top of it, and the generosity and the kindness that I've seen from everybody. Uh, that's what I'm gonna try to take into the new year. I'm not doing anything uh overly spectacular this year. Um, I. I'm going to chill with my girlfriend. We're probably going to play some video games. We're probably going to watch some uh, some shows, <laughs> some anime, some Star Trek, uh, and, and just kind of chill out. I mean, last year, I, I kind of had this major realization. I went to a bar. I sat by myself, and I, I wrote. That's what I did. I wrote. I wrote. I wrote comedy for uh four or five hours um i had a beer or two while doing that that was that was that was uh, one of the cats just walked in uh sorry about that loud noise there but if you heard it but yeah last year i had uh you know i i had a, a, a beer or two i sat by myself i listened to music and i and i wrote i re restructured politely angry on new year's eve um, and then I went home and fell asleep a little after midnight, and it was delightful. I, I don't remember exactly what I did on New Year's Day. I think I planned I – was, I was getting ready to go out back on tour uh, the following day, and, and I kind of realized, like, I really like that that solitary recharge moment. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm also I'm, – like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of just take this night to chill – uh, relax and 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 it doesn't really feel like the end of the year. It, it just feels like we're we're just kind of moving along. So I'm just treating it like it's any other day. Uh, and and I know tomorrow is the new year. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to uh, be positive about about that. Uh, be positive and think about the positive things that have come out of this year and and take that positivity and use that as motivation um, to continue doing what I'm doing. And and you know, hopefully get a part time gig that doesn't suck my soul. <laughs> that's the that's the um, that's the goal uh, at least. So uh, you know, and and I'll keep you guys updated on on everything that comes comes from there. 